All right, guys, so today we're looking at new wireless earbuds from JVC. Now they just released two different ones, but we're not really gonna talk about these. We're gonna talk about the Truly Wireless. It's a long model name, but we're gonna call it the 90BT, just to cut off the HA-ET90BT slash B. It's just way too much to remember. So these are truly wireless earbuds, which are really big right now. Everybody's trying to lean towards that. It's more convenient. Some people want to get away from cables. So we're going to look at these. Now, right out of the box, you can see these are blinking blue. That's because I've already had these connected to my device. So once you take them out of the case, they will automatically pair to your device. And that's what you're seeing here. So obviously when you take them out of the box, you're not going to see flashing blue. So as you can see, it comes before we look at the earbuds themselves. All right. So right off the bat, I do, before we get into the rest of the accessories, want to talk about one of my biggest gripes uh, with these earbuds. And it's the fact that you're only getting three hours of battery life, which is not that big a deal. That's about the norm with truly wireless earbuds, but this case is only giving you an additional six hours. So when you open up the case and you see that they sit in there, let's see, right here you can see that the right is marked right here and you just simply put them in like so. And again, this case is a little trickier than normal to get them in there, uh, but as you can see right now they're charging. And so it's very compact, very small, right now it's charging. But again, three hours with the earbuds themselves and then only six hours because of the case. So you have a nine hour total battery life. And to me, that could be done a little better. All right, so underneath here, you see the rest of the accessories. There's the micro USB cable because you do need to charge the case, obviously. And there's a ton of different ear tips so that you can find the right one for you. This right here is kind of a bonus because this is a case for your case that you're able to just throw them in, bam, Velcro it up. And then you can kind of, like if you're out running or if you want to attach this to the bag, it has the clip to do so. Um, and so it makes it a little more convenient than if you're out just with this itself. So it adds that extra being able to take it with you and being able to just clip it onto stuff instead of sometimes you may not have pockets. So that's a nice little touch. All right, so one thing that I do want to point out about the earbuds themselves, at first, at first I thought the design was kind of big and kind of bulky and I didn't know how well I would like this. And I didn't know how I'd feel about this because this is this part right here is kind of stiff and, and this is going to be in your ear canal. So the first couple of times that I used this, this right here was uncomfortable until I figured out how they actually want you to put them in. They want you to slide them in this way and then kind of twist. It's like a twist and lock system. And then eventually you're gonna find one, um, a position that works for you, which I did. And so that I was able to actually keep them on for a longer period of time uh, without any discomfort. And it just, it worked a lot better. So as you can see on these, there is a button for your controls. If you tap it twice, the volume goes up. If you tap it once, the track will pause. I did not find a way to skip the track forward or backwards with these, so I still had to rely on my phone. Now, as you can see on the outside here, there is a battery indicator on the case. You can kind of see where your battery life's at. Um, you also have on the side the micro USB port for charging. Like I said, you get about six hours with the case, three hours with these, nine hours total. I would say that's the biggest downfall to these. Now, how do these things sound? Sound wise, I can say that I was actually pretty impressed. These do retail for $150. So you're in competition with a lot of different brands. I mean, everything from Jaybirds to even the AirPods and the convenience of the AirPods. So it kind of depends on what it is you're wanting. I, I say for somebody that's working out, these are an extremely a uh, really nice pair of truly wireless earbuds. Right now, as of today, these things are on sale for $100. So for $100, these are, are definitely worth it. I'd say at their full retail price of $150, I would probably hold off and I personally wouldn't spend $150 to own these, but for $100, I think that hits the sweet spot with these and definitely, definitely makes them worth it. As far as sound signature goes, I really 
thought these were gonna be like most modern headphones and just be really boomy, really bass heavy, um, and kind of lean more towards that. And, and to be honest, these didn't. In fact, these pushed mids really forward, um, which made vocals stand out more. And the trebles were more forward so that you're able to have a little more life to your sound. Um, but I felt like bass was really toned down. Now again, that kind of depends on the fit that you get with these because, and honestly with most earbuds, especially the ones with the silicone type, a lot of it depends on how well of a seal you're, you're gonna get and how well of a fit. Um, that is how your sound is gonna be based. All right, so as you can see, there's a fingerprint magnet right there because of the gloss that's on here. You can see the light that's right there. These are your connectors so that when you put them in the case, that's what causes them to charge. Uh, like I said earlier, your left and right are marked right here inside the ear tip. It's also one here because you don't have to use these, but if you do not use these wing tips, I can tell you right now, you're not gonna get a good fit. This is your button for all your touch controls here. Um, it's very compact. It's a different design. It's unique. So I give JVC credit for that. Um, I definitely give them credit for the way that they they were able to make the sound. So the big question is here, do I recommend the JVC ET90BT? That is a yes and no question because for $150, I'm gonna say that there are better options out there, but for the $100 price tag that these keep going on sale for, that is a strong, strong yes. That is my quick review of the JVC ET90BT. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you guys so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, guys, make sure to stay tuned for more.